for the very first time, we're bringing high-performance computing, accelerated computing and generative AI computing to the data. Leveraging this intelligent and connected core, you can build and run modern applications of the kind that are not even possible in the traditional SaaS model of building software on the cloud. You can access incredible apps from our marketplace to run directly in your accounts. No more data movement required. Instead, these powerful apps are coming to your data. Because, of course, the most important thing you treasure in your company is knowledge of your business, knowledge of your customers, knowledge of yourself. That is all encoded in, captured in our data. And so one of the things that's really going to be very important here is that once, people, once we connect the world to this flywheel, the amount of data that we're going to have to load into Snowflake is going to grow quite exponentially. AI. Relational 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 AI. Or relational AI uh, app to do AI co processing and again, all within your accounts. Amazing partner. This gives me some graph analysis solutions. So I can just hear and say install directly from the marketplace. Now, what's amazing here is this is not just setting up for me like a username and password for relational AI or letting me use my Snowflake consumption towards relational AI. No, this is spinning up in my Snowflake account the entire relational AI solution so that I can use it securely with my data. Relational AI, which provides solutions for graph analytics. Is using the relational AI app and they're speaking about it at Summit. We are using Relational AI, which is a cloud-native knowledge graph solution, and we apply that on our data and run graph analytics uh, to do up to primarily detect fraud and insider threat for AT&T. The primary goal is to reduce device loss. Questions, how are you using knowledge graphs and where do agents fit into this? So, um, as you know, we use relational AI yep. as our semantic layer, the knowledge graph that sits on, and by the way, it's perfectly oriented supply chains, because supply chains are all about relationships. This product, this supplier, this brand, this, like it's this store, like it's very um, well tuned to that. Because relational AI is all over the place. It's called relational AI, that might be just the right thing. With relational AI, as a way to look at our customer base, observe them, observe our graph, and draw insights about who are the most important nodes in the network and how they're connected to each other. Including relational AI. This is going to take a few seconds, so let me show you what the raw data looks like. So with partners like relational AI, building these really powerful applications uh, that need to operate against a company's data. Tenfold reduction in both compute time and compute costs. Ah, Snowflake native app, I can build a knowledge graph in my Snowflake account. Partners like Relational AI, we are bringing that amplified value to our customers. To a Relational AI's graph relations, which we could use to run all the algorithms over and iterate really quickly over them. So this enabled that. Transforming the company, you're, you're rewriting your stack on top of Snowflake, you've got things like Relational AI, which is highly advanced, and so obviously you're paranoid. Uh, but, but it's very difficult <laughs> yeah. to not, not only disrupt the supply chain, but actually reinvent it. In relational AI, I can re refer to my data by fully qualifying it right here. We try the usual, uh, call it Python, Spark. And what we found is that they're great general purpose tools, mm -hmm. but they're not as efficient for a specific purpose like graph analytics. Uh, so that's why we started working with relational AI. Making it easy for AT&T to be able to pay for how much of relational AI they're using against their Snowflake data using the same model that they use to pay for Snowflake. Relational AI tool that we got, by the way, through the marketplace is already starting to democratize the process of graph analytics because it's not just for Spark experts or people with a PhD in graph uh, metrics. Uh, anyone can use the tool because it's really efficient to use uh, really fast and really user-friendly. It's kind of mind-blowing. The amount of data that companies have in Snowflake is so gigantic, you can't move that somewhere else to do the processing. It's a lot easier to just move the computing to the data. 